Okay, welcome to episode number eight of the Crazy Viking Cooks in Mexico. Today we're making pineapple pie. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Marion's Never Fail Pastry. We'll, do, we'll uh, do that up, we'll put it in the fridge to cool down, and then we'll work on the uh, filling itself. But before we start, a sip of scotch. I'm using 12-year-old uh, Glen Fiddick scotch. So I start by slowly mushing up the uh, a pound of lard. And then we're going to be slowly adding five cups of flour. And we have just a little bit of it shooting out the side. Nothing serious. And we'll add more flour. the flour and then we're also going to add well that's a lot of flour that spilled over the side what the heck and then we're going to add a cup of sugar we're adding uh, three quarters of a, a teaspoon of salt and uh, a teaspoon of baking powder. And we're also adding in three tablespoons of brown sugar. So we'll mix this all up. And then we're going to add uh, two tablespoons of vinegar. And we have an egg slightly beaten and uh, enough cold water to fill the measuring cup to three quarters of a cup. I think all the ingredients have been nicely mixed in together here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a bowl, which will then later be, uh, we're going to put it in the fridge and keep it cool while we make the uh, filling itself. And the texture is feeling good, it's not too sticky. Uh, hopefully things will roll out nicely in the at the end of the process and um, I think at this point in time we're going to take a break put this in the bowl and then uh, we'll be right back up the uh, pastry that we're going to put in the fridge and keep it cool until we have the uh, pie filling uh, completed which will be our next step and then uh, it requires cooling as well so while it's cooling, we'll roll out the dough into the pastry itself. Don't forget to give me the likey finger and subscribe to my channel. This is going in the fridge. It'll come back out when we're ready to roll it. See you in a bit. Yeah, uh, we're now going to make the pineapple pie filling. Um, the uh, pastry is in the fridge right now, uh, getting cooled down. We're going to roll it out later. And we're actually going to be doing a deep dish. Uh, pineapple pie. And like I said before, it's uh, very tasty and it's very surprising that uh, it's even popular in uh, other parts of the world.
Anyhow, so we put the uh, stove on low heat. We're putting in five cups of pineapple into the, into the bowl. And uh, we're gonna uh, be adding, in addition to that, a cinnamon stick, which is about two and a half inches long. And we're gonna be putting in one cup of sugar. So we're gonna cook this up. And then uh, once it's, um, once it's uh, bubbling and warm and, and uh, all melted together, then we're gonna add in uh, cornstarch uh, to thicken it. Uh, sorry, gotta take a sip. Mmm, that's good. Okay, so uh, we mix in the one cup of water into five tablespoons of cornstarch, slowly blending it. Just where the fork works good. Until it's fully uh, incorporated. Cornstarch has a tendency to kind of um, thicken up uh, until you mix it up again. So we mix this all together and uh, I feel some little pieces in the bottom, but that will uh, get mixed up. All right, so we've got that uh, prepared. Now uh, we're gonna be uh, waiting for this to heat. It'll take about five minutes, so we'll be back in a few minutes. So now we're going to put it, pour in the five tablespoons of cornstarch and one cup of water into the uh, mixture of the pineapple, sugar, and cinnamon. And then we're gonna let it cook for approximately 10 minutes. And we're gonna check what it looks like so I'm going to start my timer now, and I'll be back with you in about 10 minutes. Welcome back. Uh, we've had the pineapple boiling uh, on low heat for about 15 minutes now. Uh, we wanted to uh, get it to the point where it was thicker. So just to remind you what uh, is in the pot, there's five cups of pineapple, uh, one cup of sugar, one cup of water uh, with five tablespoons of cornstarch mixed into it. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, empty the uh, contents of the pot into this bowl and we need it to uh, cool completely uh, before we can put it in the pie filling, or pardon me, into the pastry. And so, we let that drip and we're going to also take out the cinnamon stick I think we got it so I'll put the pot in the sink and now I'm gonna find the cinnamon stick which I found right away whoa that's hot And we're gonna discard that. So now we're gonna let this cool down and it will continue to thicken while it's in the bowl. And uh, our next step will be to roll out the pastry and uh, put it in the pie plate and then life will be good. See you in a few minutes, but remember, like your fingers and subscribe. Welcome back. Now we're going to roll the pastry. Uh, we got a handy dandy pastry uh, uh, template. It's Teflon, so uh, the dough shouldn't stick, although we did find that it was sticking a little bit, so we floured it up a little bit. And the uh, rolling pin has been in the freezer, so the pastry doesn't, well, it sort of does stick. I think I need more. No, you need it thinner. Okay. 
Oh boy. This is so much fun. What a mess. Well, this isn't rolling out exactly as I had planned. I think I need a little more. My lovely assistant wife is helping me out here. I think we need more. Maybe a little bit of flour on the top. Okay. There we go. Now it's just sticking more. That's better. Oh, Jesus. This is an adult only program. <laughs> There's too many swear words for kids. Don't show it to them. I don't know if I rolled it out wide enough yet. Can you take a break? Okay, so uh, I think we got it. Let's take a break and we're going to put it into the pie plate. Here's, we're going to try and put it into the pie plate. So I'm going to put this in the center. I'm going to take this entire uh, item. Uh, problem is it sticks to the counter. So we're going to do it that way. And guess what? The pastry is sort of coming off. Oh my god. Well, so much for the non-stick Teflon. I think I'm going to be doing a lot of forming by hand. This didn't work worth a crap. Alright, so we're going to try this a different way. Um, I need a spatula. And I'm going to try and lift this off. Ah, oh, the heck with it. I'm done. We're going to press it in by hand because this didn't work worth a damn. At least we know roughly how much we need for the, for the pie. Last time I used uh, wax paper and things worked out well that way. This, uh, this wonder device isn't so wonderful. Oh. oh, by the way, I did wash my hands before I started this process, so no worries there. Mm. Uh, flour for my fingers would be great. pastry uh, probably too much so I'm going to try and press it out making sure the bottom is covered of course wow, this is a new gooey mess oh 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> How much fun are we having? Uh, we're gonna take a few minute break while I get this uh, pie crust under control, and then we'll be back. So we have successfully spread the pie crust in the pie plate, and now we are going to be rolling the top of the pie itself. We've abandoned the Teflon coated uh, expensive uh, special stuff, and we're now reverting to parchment paper with flour, and I'm feeling way more optimistic. Wow. So I'm going to flour up the, the rolling pin, and let's hope for the best. Oh boy. And now the parchment paper is rolling all over the place. Okay. All right, we're gonna resort to David's plan B, which uh, worked out before. This is really sticky, sticky uh, pastry. And I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my hands. Uh, so, we're gonna go at this from a much more scientific perspective. <laughs> Maybe a bit more of this into it. And we'll try Don't try this at home. Okay. Nope. It's not working where the shit. <laughs> mm. Marion's never failed pastry, never fails to stick to your hands. <laughs> do is get it like nine inches in a circle. Who would have thought it could be so difficult? So one thing I forgot to mention is that we're going to use an egg yolk to, uh, to paint the top of the pie crust once we Get it onto the pie. I don't know, is that roughly the size? It's good. It's good. Good? Good. All right, so we just need the uh, pie filling to cool down a little bit more. And uh, oh my god, do I ever need a drink? Hmm. Cheers, now I got pie crust all over my scotch glass. Okay, so we're gonna take a break, let the uh, filling cool, and then we're gonna put it in the pie crust, and then we're going to put it in the oven at 375 to 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna reduce the heat to 350 for 30 to 45 minutes, the variance in time is depending on how hot your oven is, etc., etc. But we'll be checking on it regularly. See you in a few. Don't forget to give me the happy fingers. Welcome back. It's definitely been a journey today. Uh, I had to have a couple of shot glasses of tequila to calm my nerves because Marion's No Failed Pastry never fails to stick to the counter. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the filling in the pie. And because it's a, a deep dish uh, pie plate, uh, the recipe calls for five cups of, uh, of pineapple. 
And what I found uh, when I made it last time is it didn't quite fill the pie to the level that I wanted to. So I cut up another one cup of fresh pineapple, which I layered on the top. And the nice thing about this is when you cut into it and you bite into it, you get a little bit more of a crunch than you get from the pie uh, filling itself. So it works out really nicely. It's a nice kind of like capper to the to the pie. And now the fun begins. We're going to try and actually flip the pie crust top onto the pie with this parchment paper. So I think I'm going to get it close to the thing here. And here we go. Whoa, I think I actually did it. May need some minor maneuvering. I wonder how parchment paper cooks. Because True to our experience earlier, it's stuck to the parchment <laughs> paper. <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay, you studio audience, stop laughing. <laughs> oh, look, look. Uh, I'm sort of having success, sort of. And uh, this is definitely not store-bought pastry. This is homemade pastry. And uh, we're having tons of fun. And uh, yeah, I think we did it. Wow, we did it. Okay, so now, yeah, thank you studio audience. So now what we're gonna do is we missed a little bit. There's a little bit too much there and not enough here. So now I'm going to press it down with my fingers. I don't know about this piece here. Crimping it to seal it up. And then we're going to take a knife and uh, cut the excess. I didn't get too much pastry in the utensil drawer, so I won't be in too much trouble. I think I have a little spot over here that needs pastry. How's it looking? How's it looking, crowd? Lots of pastry on the front there. Oh yeah. Of course. I have lots of pastry. Okay, I think we got her. Now I'm just gonna quickly rinse my hands. It's only like the 90th time I've washed my hands today. And some paper towel. Well, if I get through this without uh, having a heart attack, we'll be laughing. Is that looking okay there? Yeah? Okay, so now we're going to brush the top of the pie with egg yolk. That gives it a nice finish. Sort of a shiny coat. One of my fans is obviously already texting saying I can't help but look forward to the rest of this pie. My God. I think I got it. Nothing like a blind guy painting. Okay, close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. Now, my wife was kind enough to create a pineapple decoration to put in the center of the pie. And the one last step I need to do 
is uh, cut some thick foil. Right, so I've cut the vent holes in the pie. The pie is now going to go into the oven at uh, 375 to 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And then we're going to reduce the heat to 350 and cook it for another 30 to 45 minutes. So here it goes into the oven. Well, wow, that's hot. And we'll see you in about 15 minutes. Uh, the final moments. The pie has been in the oven uh, originally for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. And then for another 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And the pie looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take it off with a hot tray and put it on a cooler tray to cool down. Voila! Pineapple pie. Don't forget to uh, like the episode and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around.